This is uh, 1938. So how would you like to build a movie theater in Ottawa? So I said, uh, I guess that's a good idea. Well, he said, my father-in-law owns a property on Elgin Street. It's a house. And uh, we have an idea it'd be a good location for a movie theater. So the gentleman's name was Mr. Cohen. So I went down to Ottawa. In those days, I would go to the North Pole to get a movie theater. It didn't make any difference to me. We go, I go down and I see Mr. Cohn, and he agrees to make a deal. We had to build a theater that cost $40,000. And, he, and he, he, he lent me $20,000, took back a mortgage. Now, I, I, I got three other guys, three gentlemen that, that I'd be doing business with, to put up all the money to build a theater and equip it. And the deal, my deal in those days was because I didn't have any money. Never had any money. I would develop a theater, I'd take in three partners, and they'd put up the money, and, at the, and I would get 25% after they got the money back. And I promoted chain of theaters that way, without any money. Wow. So when did you start making money? Oh, later on, well, we made a lot of it. The Elgin Ottawa was very good. And I must tell you, I'll tell you this story, which you will find very interesting. Built the first dual cinema in the world. What happened was, when we built the Elgin Theater, it was built in an L shape. The lobby going there, the theater was at the back. We left, it, we left a property 40 by 80 in front on which we intended to build stores and offices. That was 38. Well, the war came along, and of course we didn't do anything. After the war, I started my wife into the art theater business. So, you like all this? You like all this information? Is this, is this what you want? And you can define for us what you mean by art theater. Uh, foreign pictures, offbeat pictures, pictures that ordinary theaters wouldn't run. So I decided that I would like to build an art house theater in Ottawa. So I hired an agent to get me a location, and uh, he couldn't find me a location. One day, I'm in Ottawa, I used to go there about once a month, and I'm standing leaning against the lamppost looking at the theater. And it struck me all of a sudden. You've got a theater location right here. You only have to build two walls and a roof. <coughs> so, I went to the architect and he said, you haven't got enough room, you haven't got room for a booth, a projection booth. Sure we have. We'll put it on top of the lobby. He couldn't think of that, but I did. All we have to do is to build two walls and a roof. So my partner said, why do you want to build a theater there? You got a theater there. Oh, I said, you see, I had to concoct these stories to get these guys to go with me. I said, you see, the other first run theaters in Ottawa got a lot of seats. Kaplan got 2,400 seats, and the region has 1,200 seats, and we only have 800 seats. Anyway, I talked them in, and we, we built the Little Eldon Theater. When we opened up the theater, 
auction. Now I got 1,200 seats, so I ran pictures in 1,200 seats. That didn't last very long because we found out we only needed the extra seats on Friday and Saturday. So I said, I have another policy. We'll run, we'll run art pictures, you know, offbeat pictures. So, we started, that wasn't too successful. It never caught on too well. Anyway, what happened was, we were playing a picture called Witness for the Prosecution. You remember that? And it was a sort of an in-between. We we're sort of, You see, in the motion picture business, if you're doing this kind of business, the distributor won't let you take the picture off. He doesn't care what else you've got to play. He won't let you take it off. Now, I'm desperate. They come along with Bridge on the River Kwai, which was the big picture of the year. And I don't want to lose it. Move it over. I had to call up the president and the sales manager of United Artists in New York. See, I was very friendly with the sales managers in New York, which was very good for the way I operated. A fellow named Jim Valdi, would you believe to this day, Jim Valdi lives in Palm Beach, to this day, we have lunch with them every year. We find that one. So, I said, I got an idea. I want to move over witness for the prosecution to the Little Elk. And I want, because I'm going to want to put in Bridge in the River Kwai and the Big Elgin. Not only will you have better terms because you'll have less overhead to contend with, but you'll also get the overflow, because River Kwai got to do a lot of it. It was the big picture. Anyway, he bought it. Would you believe that for months we had a parlay there? Unbelievable. We made so much money. But I learned something. Aha! One theater is not enough. You gotta have two. Because the very fact that we were able to manipulate the bookings. So after I built two, I was building a theater in Burnaby in British Columbia. That's a suburb of uh, Vancouver. Built three theaters. Three theaters. And so the idea of multiplex was born. That's right. Built the first. So I built three theaters. They did very well. Well, the next will be four theaters. We got a location in Mississauga, and we built four theaters. 